me nothing for the die, no one lies, no strings, I ain't your puppet if I just step aside, unless you wanna run it, I suggest you run it high, for the rest, if they don't better, let them know we're coming, we all lie. Welcome wrestling fans back to SWA. This is the final show before the big show. SWA supremacy and we're gonna kick it off with the single most pissed off man on the roster. James Wright is out here to pick a fight and extract some revenge for losing his last match. He was busted open at the hands of Carmelo Young, who we hear from later tonight as well. There was a very cryptic video released earlier in the week by Carmelo Young, but it was an absolutely unbelievable result. James Wright, seemingly unbeatable, was defeated by the roll-up king. And Melo indeed is for everyone, but I tell you what, this beating is exclusive for big daggy boy Boomer as he is being stretched by this behemoth of a man, James Wright. Oh, look at that shot. Right to the midsection. Still to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Huge main event on the cards. It will be Ricky Mushrooms. Rocky Michelle. Ricky, Ricky Mushroom Risotto. Ricky Seafood Special. Whatever you want to call him. It does not matter. He is a killing machine. And he's going to look to take on and take out... Gabrielle Ace in the main event to see who will join Carmelo Young in the main event of Supremacy to fight for the World's Heavyweight Championship. But will James Wright indeed even make it to Supremacy? Because he's got the big dome piece of Daggy Boy, but I tell you what, he just lit him up. Big Dag. Nah, -uh. you can't Irish whip this man. He is un Irish whippable, but he is able to be. Clocked over the head into the cover, just no sells it. An absolute no count. Zero on the dial for Big Daggy Boy. He gets Iris whipped and shoulder checked. And look at the momentum here. Wow. James Wright is one pissed off man. You cannot even throw this guy into the corner because he ain't having none of it. If you think this guy's going to sell for you tonight, you are sorely mistaken. Look at this, start trying to Irish whipping again. Has this guy not seen any of the tapes? Big Dag Boomer, tell you what, you need to watch the tapes, son. Look out, oh my God, deadlift German. Is that enough? Trey Count, perfect position as always. Senior referee, Trey Count on the verge, ladies and gentlemen, of SWA supremacy. It is going to be absolutely unbelievable, extraordinary event coming your way. Special guests, all kinds of stuff is going to be going down on that show. Just a one count. You think you're going to get any more than that? You're having a laugh. And if you think you're going to Irish whip him, you're having even more of a laugh. Dad Boomer just clocked by James Wright, who's going to cloverleaf that boy up and stretch that man to within an inch of his life. And if you're a smart man, you'd be giving it up straight away. You don't want this fight to drag on any longer. But look out, Big Daggy grabs an arm, trying to grab a limb, trying to work a hold here. We all know we don't work here, we just don't sell. Look at this. Trying to work another limb here. You can't slow this down. What are you trying to slow the action down for in SWA? You've got to be kidding me. And that's what happens. You get a knee to the gut. The cover here, one. I reckon that could be enough. Oh, look out. He just kicks out Big Daggy. Big Daggy's in a huge amount of trouble. It has been all James Wright here tonight. Look out. Oh, my God. He may just choke him out here. He may just choke out Big Dag Boomer. No, he gets out of it. Oh, another elbow. My God. James Wright screams into the air. Incredibly pissed off. Demanded to open the show. Demanded to get his hands on someone, get his pound of flesh, and that's exactly what he's doing. Look at these knees here. Just absolutely relentless. Oh, my God. There's that spinning back fist that has taken so many. But it was a picture-perfect no-sell into the headbutt Boston Crab combination. Dag Boomer. Oh, look out again. I tell you what, you're starting to piss me off a little bit, Dag. Let alone James Wright. Oh, look out. Elbow right to the back. Uh oh, right with a reversal. Oh, and a knee to the gut. And then drops the knee down. I reckon that was a shoot knee as well. Dag, he's trying to fight back, but there it is. That's it. That's the knockout shot. He was looking for another one. There's only so many you can take. And now look out. All the way to the top. Oh, elbow right to the back. 
from James Wright and dead lifts him over. He's dead weight and he's dead meat and he's done. Dag Boomer destroyed by James Wright. Wait, wait a minute. James Wright saying, I'm not done. I want another victim. What's he talking about? Do you want to fight again? Oh my God, they're sending another one. Who the hell is in charge back there? JRJ, what the hell are you doing? It's like feeding a lamb to the slaughter. He sent out this guy in the generic ass red tights to come down and get in the face of easily the most dangerous man on the roster, James Wright. And now look at this. Oh, this is not good. This is not good for generic red tight man against James Wright. Look at this, he's just hammering away. A second match in a row for James Wright. This guy is absolutely on another level. Generic red tight man. Into, oh, look at this. Oh my God. Wow. This is not good. But I'll tell you what, we might call him Jenny. Generic. Jenny, no, maybe not. I'm gonna call him Jenny. Come Jenny tight man, look at him, here he comes. Snapmare over the top. It's a silly move. It's really silly to try and get in the ring with James Wright at the best of times, let alone when he's absolutely fuming. He's raging. And look out, he's gonna try and power bomb him here. Uh-uh, he ain't having none of that. Drops the elbow, drop down. Can you believe this, ladies and gentlemen? James Wright in action for a second time in as many minutes, it feels like. James Wright's taking it to Jenny, generic red tights man. This now, uh oh, this guy looks like indie guy number seven. He's getting hammered away on by James Wright, but he loves a snapmare. This boy doesn't he? Maybe that's what he learned in wrestling school this week before coming to SWA. Apparently, this guy was just ready to go out the back. I have no clue who he is. JRJ's just sent another lamb to the slaughter. I hope he's covered by insurance because you're gonna need to be against this guy. Look at this, going after the eyes and trying to piss this guy off. And I tell you what, James Wright, he may have bitten off a little bit more than he could chew here against generic red tights man. Sends him into the corner. What's he got in the locker here, this kid? I no idea, but I wouldn't be going blow for blow with James Wright at any juncture. And you can see there, he just gets absolutely knocked down. And now he's gonna stretch him. He's asking him if he gives up, I would be, I'd be giving up immediately. Can't Iris whip him. This guy that hasn't obviously watched the tapes either. Just look at this, generic coming back here. Jenny, gonna work a leg as well. This is not smart. It's not smart from a health and safety aspect either. We already struggle enough with some of our, our debts and our bills, some of our checks do bounce as we well no, but man, I tell you, oh, look at that shot there. We can't have another lawsuit for a murder on our hands here. I just really hope the generic red tights man can hang in there. Oh, look at this for a shot though. He is taking it to James Wright, who might be a little gassed. He took out big Daggy, but he was deadlifting Daggy all over. Goes into the cover here, one. Oh, he no sells it and kicks out at one. I don't know whether that's frowned upon by the boys in the back. I dare say Ricky Mushrooms will be watching on. Not really happy with the exposure of the business there. <laughs> Look at this. Good Lord, those clubs to the back of the head. But generic red tights man is hanging in. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what a job that was. That would have almost hurt his hand though. He whips him off, goes for the shoulder check. It was rejected. And Jenny's all over him here. Trying to choke him out. It's very silly. Uh oh, no, no, no. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You can't Iris whip him even if it's a reversal. Oh, he wants all of him. This is not good. James Wright, he wants all of him. There it is. My goodness me. Kick right to the temple. Two. Trey count in perfect position. He kicks out. He kicks out. Well, I think it would have been smarter to maybe stay down. But generic red tights man is having a crack here. Shades of OAJ from this man. Uh-oh, he's going to the top again. All the way up and down with that elbow. James Wright might be looking to say night-night to generic red tights man. Look out. 
Oh, he's throwing elbows, trying to get his in as well. I just don't know how smart this is. Trying to get your shit in against James Wright when he's this pissed off seems very, very silly to me. And look at this shot. Took him down. Yeah, you're going to need a hell of a lot more than that, surely. Got a two count out of James Wright. Well, that's at least something you can write in your diary at the end of the day. Dear diary, I don't remember much, but I got a two count from the behemoth James Wright. And look at this. He's still trying to choke him out here. Uh-oh. He flung him off, and I think... Generic red tights man could be gassed, but he's still throwing headbutts. He's still trying to stretch him. And I reckon James Wright is, is pretty tired. He's pretty gassed. It's his second match. Maybe he's bit off a little bit more than he could too. Look out. From behind. Oh, he whipped him into the corner. You can tell he's tired because he's whipped into the corner. Are we on the verge of seeing yet another massive upset here? Look out, super kick! Super kick, hook in the leg! Trey counts in position! Two count only! Two count only! Oh no! Drop the knees across the back end again! And I reckon James Wright may have snapped now! Iris whip off! Oh, look out! Throws the kitchen sink at him! Throws the kitchen sink at him! But Jenny, he's still going! But he's gassed as well! He's thrown everything at him! No soul by James Wright! Massive shot! Now they're gonna go toe to toe! James Wright, uh oh, slit the throat. Oh my god! The elbow! The elbow! And now super kick though! What a no sell! End of the cover! He may have done it though! Just a two count! Just a two count! Gee, you don't want to be on the end of that! Uh oh! Don't want to be on the end of that either! That's got to be the knockout shot! One, two, no! You've got to be kidding me! Generic Red Tights man, having a crack here. This is what SWA is all about. No selling your ass off to the more over guys in the roster. Oh no, spinning back fist, spinning back fist. And now, oh goodness me, elbow combination. You could count to a thousand. James Wright defeats two men on the same night and I fear for the entire roster what did you just ask me my thoughts on the biggest main event in SWA history well let me give you a dose of reality dumb ass. I am the reason why it's the biggest main event in SWA history I proved it to never oh I'm sorry, Pac, that jumping all over the place doesn't mean shit when you're quick enough to roll up a bitch for a quick three. <laughs> you seem shocked that I talk like this, not realizing this is who I am. Just ask Mr. Wright. I broke his nose, and apparently he is still recovering. Fact of the matter is, I'm here to be the best, and to be the best, you have to be the world's heavyweight champion. If you're not here to be the champion, then get the fuck out of my company. At SWA Supremacy, it doesn't matter if it's Gabriel Ace, Rocky Mushrooms, whatever the hell his name is, when the lights turn on bright and when that bell rings, I'm leaving with that world title and damned be the person who tries to stand in my way. You know what? Get this, get this microphone off me. Interview over. Get the fuck off my property. Wow, wait. Well, who saw that coming from Carmelo Young, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely unbelievable. That video, of course, was dropped earlier in the week. It's unbelievable. I mean, this guy could well be the next World's Heavyweight Champion, but right now we're looking at a team that could be the next Tag Team Champions, and we have some one-on-one -on -one action to try and get some momentum for both of these teams. It is going to be the Australian People Party's Matthew Pratt. The guy in the pink, Matthew Pratt, will be going one-on-one -on -one with the Hunter of Men, Man Hunter. And these two have been really impressive. Young kids from Perth. Well, we are underway here. We'll throw the kick at Man Hunter. Man Hunter, also Australian. 
Good, nice Australian feel to this roster. Oh, look at the athleticism. Manhunter does not like it, though. He does not enjoy the flippy-dippy sh**. Oh, oh, oh. A chop uppercut. Never seen that before. Manhunter's going to do what he does best, as we always say, and hunt down Matthew Pratt here. The high flyers versus the sheer brute power of the Bear Boys will be going down at Supremacy for the Tag Team Championships. These two teams Wyden won that honour in their respective matches and now this is a great opportunity for both teams through these two individuals to get some momentum. Pratt now takes down Manhunter. Picks him up. Don't know how smart it is to pick him up. Look at that. That just brushed that off like it wasn't even anything. There's no way to brush off that European uppercut though. Manhunter. Oh goodness gracious me. Just they're loving a knee in the back tonight, the boys. Look out, Hunter. Oh my goodness me. Takes him down here. Oh, that's what you gotta do. Maybe work on the leg here, Praddy. That might be the best way. Just try and keep some distance here. Power slam. Oh, Mood sold into the pin. Trey Count was down, but only for a no count. It's been some really clinical no selling tonight. Beautiful exhibition of no selling from James Wright in that previous match. And oh, look out, just charged him down. Pratty could be in a hell of a lot of trouble here against the enormous Manhunter who we saw maybe end one of those young boys' careers in the last episode. Choke slammed him to the point where he. Went entirely limp, and uh-oh, look out, Matthew Pratt, oh my god, David suplex from the top rope. You've got to be kidding me, but that is the best no-sell of the night. That is the best no-sell of the night. Top rope German souple into the no-sell, into the headbutt, into the choke. Absolute clinic being put on by the boys here tonight. That's what you get at SWA, and that's what you're going to get an abundance of at SWA Supremacy. Manhunter was looking for that devastating choke slam, but couldn't find it again. Now Pratty, here he comes. Uh-oh, we're gonna have a little bit of a strike off here. That's you, Pratt, going toe to toe with Manhunter. Who's gonna win this out? Yeah, that's what I expected. Manhunter's always gonna win the strike off, surely. Look at this, rubbing the head here. Oh, out wrestling Manhunter now, Matthew Pratt. Extraordinary, now again here. He's just making a bit of a mockery of Manhunter here. He's not going to appreciate that. Rolls him over. Beautiful exhibition of professional wrestling. It's very seldom seen here. And look out. There it is. The choke slam from Manhunter. After all that exhibition, it comes down to sheer power. And he just kicks out at 2.9. Pratty sends him off. Oh, roll him up. Is that enough now? No, just the one count. Man, the tag team division is absolutely off the Richter scale and you can bet your ass that it's supremacy. This match between the Bear Boys and the Australian People Party for the tag team champions to crown our first ever tag team champions is going to be absolutely off the scale as well. Oh, look out, rolls him up again with the bridge. Junior watching on. Man, Hunter picks him up. Not great if... You are Pratt to be on the end of another one of those choke slams. That could definitely be it. But he's doing really well here, trying to work a limp, trying to work on the legs of the big man Manhunter. Oh, look out through that kick, didn't like it at all. Just seemed to piss him off. He picks him up. Another choke slam. Another choke slam. One, two, no. 2.9. 2.9. Picks him up. Oh, go to sleep. Oh, standing shooting star press. Trey count perfect position, just a two count. Clinical no sell. Picks him up. He's racked him. He's racked him. Torture rack from Manhunter. Oh, into the backbreaker. Oh, that was a clinical no sell as well from Pratty. Whips him off the ropes and a massive clothesline. Massive clothesline, figure four, all on the back. Oh, probably one of the better no-sells we've seen all night. It's Pratt now. Oh, with a DDT to Manhunter. Now Manhunter, it's a really big trouble, Pratty again. They are bringing the fight. Oh, oh, sidewalk slam from the Hunter. The Hunter of men. 
and he's off like a herd of turtles and smashes him with an elbow. Pretty. There's no no sell on that. That was pretty stiff, but oh my god, what a shot to the back of the head. And Pratty with an insecurity. He's got the big man rocked. He's got the big man rocked, but not enough. Not enough. The headbutt. And then a massive left hand right to the skull. Pratty in trouble. No, he's not. Still fighting. Still fighting. Rolls him over. Manhunt has taken a lot of punishment. It could be over. Trey Count was right there again. Wouldn't expect anything less from senior official Trey Count. Another right hand from Manhunter. Takes it down at another one. I don't think he's got much left, the big fella. He's usually able to tag out. Not this time. Oh, got spiked down. Pratt off the top rope. Feeling foggy. Has he done enough? Has he worn him out? He has. The Australian People Party will be taking all of the momentum to supremacy when they vie for the Tag Team Championships. Sano Kata on the way, I've heard his no selling is the absolute premium in the world, but my goodness me! That's Nick Gage! Nick Gage is finally here! And he wants panic! Panic's been looking everywhere for him! And now Gage is here! Where the hell is panic? He's right there, he's in the ring! Where is he? Gage is here! Is he in the crowd? Where is he? Come and get some! Oh my god, look at that! Is he? Where the hell is he? I hope for one second, just one second, that you don't think that I'm actually dodging you in any form or f***ing fashion, son. You want to call me out? You want to sit behind the TV screen and call me out where you know exactly where I am? I'm going to be at Supremacy, but I'm only fighting you if I want to. You don't tell me what to do. I make the rules. There ain't nothing, nothing that you've shown me that you deserve to be even in the same room breathing the same air as me. Because yeah, I can drink a f load of beer, but I can kick even more ass. And yours, if I choose, is next. So I'll be seeing you around one way or another, whether it's at Supremacy before or after. Either way, you're sh out of luck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is shaping up to be easily the biggest show in the history of SWA. And now, we find out who's going to main event it. Carmelo Young is already there. Now it's down to Ace and Ricky. Here we go. Main event time, ladies and gentlemen. Gabrielle Ace going one-on-one -on -one with Ricky Seafood Special to see who is going to main event the show of shows, Supremacy, the first giant great big show in SWA history. 
And this ain't gonna be no cakewalk for the boy from New Zealand. Because here he is. The man who bought a line kill OAJ all those weeks ago. The man who took Ryan Lusk out of this tournament, who we just heard from, Ricky Mushrooms. Here we go, we are underway, main event. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Big fight feel. Who is gonna no-sell the most? I, my money is on Ricky. Ricky is a no-sell master, but he's also old school. So maybe he will. Have to wait and see, as Ace now. Picks up Mushrooms. Whips him off, Ace unwilling to be Irish whipped either here. He is that time though, too much power, but he charges him down. And there's a lot of tension between these two. They are polar opposites in everything they do. Good Lord. Ricky's uh, swearing in the ring here. I think he's very happy with the way that he's been treated. We saw Antonio Briggs, of course, he was tweeting earlier in the week, saying that people were talking, talking some trash about Ricky backstage, but I don't know whether anyone's that dumb. As we saw what he did to OAJ after he went into business for himself, he took him out for weeks and weeks after he pile drove him on his head. And Ricky sends him into the corner. That's not where you want to be if you're Gabriel Ace because Ricky is so dangerous once he closes that moment, that, that gap, gets that momentum. And look at this, look at this, these shots here. He's a strike master. Ricky Michelle, Ricky, you know, you know what his name is. He's got about 10. And a shot, oh, a shot there from Ricky. Whips him in here to the corner. Could look to load him up, but Ricky's having none of that. No flashy shit around here, says Ricky. He'll look out, pulls guard here. Uh oh, that is not good. Ricky will punch you until you don't want to be. Look out. Oh, looking for the German, but again, another counter from Ricky. Took him down. Headlock here applied. Ricky, see that? The way he broke that hold was just to simply punch him in the head. Ricky now with that fighter stance, the awkward stance, and look out. Bulls guard again, oh no! Ace with a brilliant counter, you can tell. He learns very quickly, he's a master of the ring. Been all over Japan, all over the United States, all over the world, Gabriel Ace. One of the premium talents, whether you like him or not, is one of the premium talents. With that massive victory over Tomohiro Ishii, he was beaten by his own move by Park. Pretty extraordinary, a rare loss for this man. He won't be looking for a repeat of that here tonight. Trying to look to avoid that leaping pile driver as well. Gonna have to look to no sell the shit out of that if you can. Now Ricky Mushrooms. He's just got the ascendancy all over Ace here at the moment. The striking, he would have been prepared for the striking. But once you get in the ring, you get punched in the face by Big Rick. A slicky Ricky. All the planning goes out the window. Sends him into the corner. Now Ace. Uh oh. What is he gonna do? Oh, he had some pretty sinister plans, but that was a rare little showing of athleticism from Ricky. Oh, look at that beautiful neck breaker though from Ace. These two really just kind of feeling each other out here at the moment. And Ricky has worked on just about every single inch of his body. Refuses to have his head smashed in, and Ricky, oh, look out. Ran out the turnbuckle, he hit it pretty hard. Only a thin layer of padding between that and the metal of the turnbuckle. Beautiful little toss there. And Gabriel Ace, action-packed night, ladies and gentlemen. We are in for an even more action-packed night. We are just the end of this show away from SWA supremacy. Some massive surprises. Oh no! Oh no! He ripped him up! Leaping pile driver! Leaping pile driver with a f you before it as well! No, he kicks out! Ace no sells it beautifully! End of the neck breaker! End of the neck breaker! One, two, no, he can't get it. Gee, I tell you what, Ace with the biggest and most clutch no sell of his life. Ace now trying to make him tap. This has really gone from zero to 100 real quick. And Ace with the strikes. Ace with the strikes, trying to take him from behind. Couldn't Ricky, tries to take Ace, but Ace turns it into a submission. He's going to that other gear. 
Has he just got that too much polish for Ricky? Is that going to be the story of the night? Picks it up. Beautiful back drop. Absolutely beautiful. Back suplex. Oh, rolling clothesline. Beautiful no sell from Ricky. But he's forced into the corner. And now Ace. What is this? He's going to go up to the top. Going to go up to the top. No. Ricky says no. Ricky says no. And now Ricky. So it's a flash here. With an elbow from the top rope. Elbow from the top rope. It's going to another gear now. Ricky. Another beautiful counter. Oh, but Ace counted it into the pin. Two. Is it done? No, it's not. Ricky just kicks out. No sells beautifully. Up to a standing position. Oh. Taken right off that standing position by some unbelievable kicks. Ace looking for that rolling clothesline again. Couldn't find it. Ricky set it up. Ricky snap. Ricky snap. This is the danger zone. He's going to the top again. Surely not again. Ricky. The cover one. Two. Hell no. No. Couldn't get him. Couldn't get him. Ricky looking for it again. No. He was looking for the pile driver again. Ace with a reversal. Ace off the road. My God, what a kick. What a kick, but Ricky. No sells it to perfection. Oh, took it down. And now he's got it mounted. Ricky in full guard, just raining down punches. Ace not going to die that easily, though. But he may have no choice but to die here. Because Ricky Mushrooms is right on your tail. Ace now. Irish whip into the rope. Oh my god. Ricky's gonna kill him. Ricky's gonna kill him. He's just choking the life out of him here. But Ace manages to escape. Sent into the corner. And now Ricky. Oh, 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 oh my god. The chops off the chart. Net breaker. Ricky is on another level now. He's gonna stretch him up with a sharp tuna. Gonna stretch him up with a sharp tuna. Ace escapes though. He's a master on the ground. He's a master all over the ring. But now he's gonna have to be the master of beating the holy hell out of Ricky Mushrooms. Fired up with a headbutt. Sharp tuna applied. Sharp tuna applied. Out of it, looking for the spinning back fist, couldn't find it, look out! Oh, turn him inside out one! That's it, two! He's got him down! No, Ricky kicks out! The Titus, the 2.9s, and now Ricky's kicking the hell out of him! Ricky kicking the hell out of him! Oh, he rolled him up again though! He rolled him up again! Two! Got him! No! Ricky kicks out! Oh! Up kick there from Ace! Up kick from Ace! Hooks him up! Second time, neck breaker, neck breaker. Ace picks him straight back up, takes him to the middle. Takes him to the middle, oh, looking for that clothesline again, but Ricky, Ricky got out. He had butted him, is that enough? Just the one count. Very rarely will you see someone sell a headbutt to a finish. Now the submission applied from Ace, it's gut check time for both of these guys. Look out! No, no! Ricky! Ricky again! Pile driver! Arrogant cover! He knows he's got him down, no, and he kicks out! He kicks out at two! Ace, no selling for his life here! Ricky hunted him down! Sends him off the ropes! Ace now! Oh, he's gonna try and take a hole! Try and catch some breath! He's eaten two of those pile drivers. No sold of affection. But have you got three in ya? I don't think so. Trey Count asking the question. Gabriel Ace's answer is no. Another suplex. It's a fight. It is a straight up fight. It's a straight up war. Mushrooms is out. And Mushrooms, here he comes. Barrage of shots. Barrage of shots down into the sharp shooter again. He's really worked that lower back and those quads. But Ace has had the answer so far. Another suplex. He's going to the well with that because he knows it's effective. That's also effective. Massive spear. Massive spear. And now Mushrooms is coming back though. Mushrooms is coming back, but Ace takes him down again. 
Ace takes him down again. But Mushrooms is out. Ricky fighting for his life. Ace the same. Ace picked him up. Dead man's head. Dead man's head. One, two. Got it. No, Ricky kicks out. Ricky kicks out. And now the uppercuts. And they are stiff. I heard it from here. Ricky Mushrooms sent him in. Oh, what a straight left hand into the sharpshooter again. There's only so long you can be in the sharpshooter. No soul. Oh, I think he was looking for the pile time and he turned it in. He turned it into the neck breaker. Gabriel Ace picked up. Oh, he rolled it over. Gabriel Ace is going to steal it. No. Just a two count. Just a two count. He blocked the shot. He blocked the shot from Ricky. Now he rolled him up again. Ace, has he done it? Is he going to the final? No, he's not. No, he's not. Some more stiff uppercuts. I reckon Ricky's shooting on him here. Irish whip reversal. Who's going to go on? Dead man's head. But he can't follow it up. Dead man's head, but he couldn't follow it up. Clinical no sell from Ricky. He hit the dead man's head, but he didn't have enough in the tank. And now Ace going to load him up high red district. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, no! Holy shit! Ricky's trying to no-sell, but he's out. He's out on his feet. Ace knows he's got him, but Ricky still fighting back. Count of 13. Ricky back in the ring. Ace needs to get back in the ring and he does. Ricky ate it from the top. Dead man's hand. The cover. One, two. Oh, there you go. Gabriel Ace is heading to supremacy to take on Carmelo Young for the world's heavyweight championship. Absolutely unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the road to supremacy. It'll be the next show, and your main event will be Carmelo Young versus Gabrielle Ace. We will see you at supremacy.